I know it's a bit late in the day, but let's talk firmware 5.10 for LG's 2018 Alpha 9 OLED, shall we? Hello everyone, my name is Vincent Thio, I'm a professional calibrator and firmware reviewer. Since I did a video back in December last year explaining the near-black chrominance overshoot issue, LG Electronics has released a series of firmware updates that had more twists and turns than what's happening in the UK Parliament that's soon to be dissolved. In case you are interested, here is a very quick summary of what each firmware version did. Firmware 4.10.31 applied more dithering and darkened near-black gamma, but crushed shadow detail and also knocked off the decontouring filter in all but game mode. Firmware 4.10.55 restored the decontouring filter, but black crush remained. Firmware 5.10.00 reduced the black crush, but broke Google Assistant, and so was pulled down faster than a bride's knickers on her wedding night. Which brings us to firmware 5.10.03 and the current latest public firmware of 5.10.20. As I explained in my review video of the C9 OLED, LG's method of masking the near-black chrominance overshoot issue consisted of two components, stronger dithering and darkening near-black gamma. Increasing the strength of dithering will make the image look a bit noisier up close, as you can see from this shot from firmware 5.10, compared with firmware 4.10.15 or 0.20 or 0.25 depending on your region. But the upside is that from a normal viewing distance, near-black gradation is improved thus reducing quantization artifacts. As you can see from this side-by-side -side comparison using this quantization test pattern kindly supplied by Igor Malinin. Thanks Igor. Now you may ask, why doesn't LG just apply the dithering without darkening near-black gamma? so that shadow detail will remain the same as 4.10.15 or 0.20 or 0.25 and everyone can go home happy. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. The very nature of dithering means that if it's applied near black without countermeasure, there's a high chance that blacks would float on the majority of panels, destroying the true blacks for which OLED is renowned. So we need some darkening of near black gamma, and finding the correct level that can maintain true blacks yet doesn't lead to excessive loss of shadow detail, is the trickiest challenge that has taken LG engineers so long to solve. Generally speaking, with the latest firmware of 5.10, shadow detail is still visible but darker than reference, although obviously this will vary from panel to panel, and can be corrected with careful calibration of near-black gamma. Maybe some of you C8 and E8 owners who are still on firmware 4.10.15 or 0.20 or 0.25 will think, sort this, I'll just turn off auto-update and not upgrade. But firmware 5.10 really does work to suppress both near-black chrominance overshoot and macro-blocking artifacts. Here I'm playing a 1080p footage of Games of Thrones that's compressed to hell onto E8 OLEDs with different firmware versions and firmware 5.10 just presented a cleaner picture without flashing artifacts. One thing to note is that any picture preset that has been calibrated using Kalman AutoCal will not benefit from the dithering fix on firmware 5.10. AutoCal locks in the 1D LUT and 3D LUT settings on the TV with no tweaks possible except for a completely fresh AutoCal. So when developing firmware 5.10, LG engineers figured that C8 and E8 owners who have paid for AutoCal would want gamma accuracy preserved, and that's what they've done. When firmware 5.10 detects a flag in any picture preset which indicates AutoCal has been performed, then the dithering fix would be disabled. Of course, manual calibration can give you the best of both worlds, color accuracy and a cleaner picture near black. I mean, I'm no psychic but I always knew that there was a reason why I've always been using manual calibration for all my LG OLED customers. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.